And it was at this moment Matt knew he fucked up. Okay, maybe a swivel chair was a bad idea. Alright, what up? It's your boy Matt, and today is another episode of a little something I like to call Ask Matt the fuck was that? Now, if you have no idea what that is, that's when you tweet me questions and, you know, like, I answer that shit. Kind of. So without further distraction, let's get into it. Alright, the first three questions come from my main man, Dennis, and he says, just want to let you know that your videos inspire me to, to not be as gay as you are. Kills yourself tonight! Oh, I'm sorry man, that was really mean. You're actually really funny. Funny looking you bitch ass nigga. P.S. You're a fag! Well Dennis, it appears the only thing uglier than your soul is your terrible grammar. <laughs> Fuck you. Alright, next question comes from Jeremy and he asks, Hey Matt, can I ask you a question? And, and that was his whole questions no no follow-up tweet is just I just I don't I don't know <sighs> moving on do you plan on moving out of Jersey and if so where and she used the app uh huh yeah alright let's try this again third times the charm do you plan on moving out of Jersey if so where and she used the hashtag Ask Matt. That's what I was trying to say from the beginning. Couldn't say it. Don't know why. Don't fucking judge me. Do I ever plan on moving out of Jersey? Yes. Um, I don't know when though. Somewhere in the future. And as for where I'm going, I don't know. I'm just kind of really sick of the US government. So I'm thinking about like moving out of the country. Maybe like going to like uh, Cali. Really, nigga? Nah, I'm just playing, but for real, I have no idea where I'd go. Because, I mean, honestly, I want to leave Jersey because I feel like it's boring to live in one place your whole life. But I honestly don't know where else I would go. But for some reason, where I live in Jersey, the solution to everyone's problems are moving to Cali. Like, moving to Cali is going to solve all your problems. Bro, I'm on trial for murder. What? Yeah, bro, I just I just really need to get to Cali. <laughs> Bitch, do you know California is still in the United States? Like, they still have a judicial system. They still have cops there. And you're a fugitive of the United States. Bitch, they gonna find you! Alright, next question comes from Rihanna. <laughs> Bet you didn't know Rihanna watches my videos. Anyway, she asks, I've been dating this girl for seven months. She wants me to meet her parents now. What could I do to make a good impression? Alright, well good thing you came to me because I'm pretty experienced in this department. Basically, what you're gonna wanna do is just be yourself. You can't be nervous and you gotta talk to them like normal human beings. Your main goal is to let them know that their daughter is dating a nice, respectable person. So after you establish that, what you're gonna wanna do is just basically look them in the eyes and just tell them flat out, listen, I'm banging your daughter, but don't you worry because I use condoms. Sometimes. What that's gonna do is make them feel closer to you because they're gonna appreciate your honesty and probably thank you for using protection. Next question comes from Elizabeth and she asks, would you date a fan, yes or no, and why? Would I date a fan? Uh, I don't know. Only because I've had really complicated situations with them in the past. Like everything was all good, we were talking and stuff like that, and then I leaned in for a kiss and she just cut me off after that. No, like literally, like it almost cut my nose off. It cut my face up pretty bad. I had to get stitches. It just, it just didn't go well. 